I make a lot of videos relating to virtual desktop, like a lot. But one question keeps coming up repeatedly, which is the best codec to use? So today I'm going to address this question with a comparison under the same strict testing regime where all settings are the same and the only variation is the actual codec itself. Let's get straight into it then. And remember, we're born to respawn. The test. My PC is running a 12th gen i9 CPU, an RTX 4080 GPU with 64 gig of DDR5 RAM. I run a TP-Link Archer AXE75 Wi-Fi 6E router in access mode exclusively for virtual desktop to maximize wireless performance, which sits at a steady 2.4 gigabits per second on the 6 gigahertz channel. Virtual desktop's PC streamer app settings are as follows. On the options tab, open XR runtime, I am using virtual desktop's own VDXR runtime. Adaptive quantization and two-pass encoding are off as they only support the 10-bit codecs. Automatically adjust bitrate is off. I have manually set each bitrate to its maximum allowed so that there are no anomalies. On the advanced tab, I have the horizontal and vertical tangent sliders at 100% with the FOV stencil ticked just to eke out a bit more performance. In headset, VR graphics quality is at ultra, VR frame rate is 90 FPS, bitrate is set to the maximum allowed by the codec. For example, H.264 allows up to 500 megabits per second. Synchronous Space Warp is off, Snapdragon Game Super Resolution is off, and Video Buffering is also off. These settings are purely to eliminate any interference and keep the test as pure as possible. I made sure that Virtual Desktop was running the latest build and that there were no interfering apps either. I am using my MetaQuest 3 headset and all footage you will see was recorded internally so that you could see the virtual desktop performance overlay in real time. All in-game graphics were on the Ultra preset, except for trackside TV displays, which are turned off, and the grid was restricted to 20 cars. That's it for the settings. As I stated, all these will remain the same throughout all five tests and the codec will be the only variable. I will do one lap of Monza in my favorite McLaren GT3 car at midday with the same weather for each test. I will show the whole lap with the virtual desktop performance overlay showing in real time so that you can see how each codec performed. Then I will run the same laps side by side for a direct comparison. The final part of the video will be my conclusion, which if you haven't fallen asleep by then, will be less science-based and more on the feeling of which codec delivered the best balance of latency and visual performance for me. So, if you're a proper geek, like me, make sure to stay till the end of the video for that. Ready? Let's go. H.264, the oldest codec here, running at 200 megabits per second. It should deliver the lowest latency, but with video quality compromised. Let's see how it does.
H264 Plus. This is a modification of the H264 codec, allowing for better compression efficiency and can run up to 500 megabits per second. HEVC. Sometimes referred to as H265, this is the successor to H264 and should allow better compression and quality over its predecessor. HEVC 10-bit, an evolution of HEVC where the 10-bit refers to each colour, red, green and blue being represented by 10 bits, an evolution required for high resolutions like 4K and 8K.
AV1 10-bit, offering better compression and colour than older codecs, this is currently the most modern codec used by Virtual Desktop. Right, let's sit back and run them all side by side for a direct comparison. Conclusion. Unsurprisingly, all the codecs performed well, with consistent frame rates and manageable latency with my PC and wireless setup. As expected, H.264 at 200 megabits per second consistently gave the lowest latency overall, between 31 to 48 milliseconds, with good frame rate between 87 and 90, and an average across most of the lab of 90 FPS with 37 milliseconds latency. But to me, the visual fidelity was clearly lower. H.264 Plus at 500 megabits per second had higher latency between 34 to 55 milliseconds, probably due to the higher bit rate, a good frame rate between 86 to 90 with an average 90 FPS across most of the lap with 40 milliseconds latency. And like H.264, my opinion is that visual clarity wasn't as good. HEVC at 200 megabits per second had slightly higher latency at 37 to 52 milliseconds, frame rate between 84 to 90 with an average across the lap at 90 FPS with 48 milliseconds latency. However, the visuals were a definite step up from H.264 and 264 Plus. HEVC 10 bit and AV1 10 bit had an almost identical performance with both latencies between 32 to 56 milliseconds, frame rates between 86 to 90 with an average across the lap at 90 FPS with 37 milliseconds latency. In my opinion, both these codecs gave a sharper, more colorful image than the three previous codecs. And if I had to choose between them, it's a difficult one as the differences are very, very marginal. For me, after this test, I would choose HEVC 10 bit just for the tiny difference in consistency. But of course, this is my opinion. At the end of the day, it is your choice. Prefer lower latency, pick H.264, which consistently had the lowest latency overall. Prefer graphical sharpness and better colors, then either HEVC 10 bit or AV1 10 bit would have you covered. Plus, for consistency across the test, 
I had no adaptive quantization, no two pass encoding, no adjustment of the horizontal field of view sliders, plus synchronous space wall and Snapdragon game super resolution were turned off. These settings can have a massive influence on performance, but can also cause issues. I have done a full video on this subject here, so if this video has piqued your interest, go check it out for some serious performance gains with just a few little tweaks. As always though, what do you think? Do you prefer lower latency over graphical fidelity, or are you like me, a massive graphics tart who must have all the shiny things? You know the drill get involved and comment down below. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this content, please hit the like button. The algorithm loves the likes. If you love this content, please join my channel membership like these lovely people did. You get custom badges, emojis, and early access to most of my content. If you want to watch more content from me, please click here or here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side.